On the line with us from Big Faya is Kateb MP Sami Jmail. Can you hear me, Mr. Jmail? Yes, I can hear you. Good evening. After two weeks of discussions and deliberations, no agreement was reached on a preferred electoral law proposal. But are you optimistic about the final meeting this upcoming Tuesday? Actually, the, the final meeting is just to, uh, to finish the, uh, the, the report, to send it to, to Mr. Birji. So there is no, uh, no decision should be taken in the next meeting. The next meeting is just an administrative meeting. That's it. So uh, there is nothing to be expected uh, on Tuesday. At all. What if, well, okay, so all of these parties have met and there have been no agreement and no accord on any electoral law. Do you feel that there is maybe a party that is trying to postpone the elections? I believe that uh, there's certainly some parties that uh, uh, don't want uh, elections to be held. Uh, and we should all seek, uh, um, we should all seek to, to approve on, on a new law uh, so we don't uh, get there because it would be a catastrophe for our democracy to postpone uh, the, the next elections. We still have uh, one month to reach an agreement Everyone should be very positive and try to, uh, to, to do our best to, to reach an agreement that could be acceptable by all so we, can, uh, so we can vote on it before the end of February and, um, and uh, so the, the, ministry, the Minister of Interior can, uh, can call for the elections uh, in, the, in the coming uh, four months. Okay. Mr. Jmail, the Free Patriotic Movement has been very adamant about sticking to the Orthodox Gathering Proposal, which calls for a single district and allows each sect to vote for its own MPs under a proportional representation system. The Kata'i Party also was for this law, but lately, because the Future Bloc has been criticizing it and said it would cause divisions, we don't really... Can you clarify your stance when it comes to the Orthodox law today? No, uh, uh, our target is to have a real participation from all the Lebanese uh, groups. Uh, we believe that uh, <coughs> in the 23 past years, the Christians were on the side of politics because of the electoral law and because uh, the, the current law uh, didn't uh, provide the Christians with the proper representation. That's why we are seeking... Uh, to, to, to have a, a good law that enables all the groups to be well represented in the parliament. As soon as we get uh, a law that uh, enables us to, be, uh, to, be, to participate and to be uh, well represented in the parliament, uh, we are ready to, uh, to, to agree on any other law. We, we, we are so not you're not, I'm sorry, so you're not sticking to the orthodox law? You're no, no, not no. Let, let me be very clear. The yes. orthodox law is the only law that, that enables uh, every group to be well represented that has today 65, uh, 65 votes in, in the parliament. As soon as we get another one, another law that reaches this good participation and that provides the proper representation to all the groups, uh, we are ready to vote on it. We already proposed four or five alternatives to the Orthodox law. We proposed the, the, uh, the, the, the small districts, the, the districts of two or three seats in each district. We proposed the uh, one person, one vote in, in, uh, to, 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 to cut Lebanon into 128 districts. We proposed uh, a, mixed, a mixed law that we, uh, that we talked about uh, last week. Uh, we have a lot of alternatives. We are not closed. We are the most open group to any alternative or to any other option. But as long as there is no other option that has 65 votes in the parliament, we will not accept to go to the elections with the current law because the current law is, uh, 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 is not acceptable uh, and is, uh, doesn't represent the Lebanese people. That's, well, uh, that's our problem. We are open to all alternatives, but uh, until today, no one, uh, no one is helping us right. to reach an agreement. Right, but within the March 14 alliance right now, you are all kind of, you're divided. I mean, two, three days ago, the LF leader, Samir Jaja, says that no matter what, he is a March 14 ally, and that's not going to change. But we, and the Kata'ib also uh, obviously have stated similar and exactly. echoed similar sentiment. But as, 
as it stands today, there is no agreement, and after two weeks of meeting, you're still not reaching an agreement. And you're telling me that you're open and everybody is open. But what is, what is not allowing these agreements to go through? Speaker Nabih Birde said that maybe it would be a half winner takes all, half proportional electoral law. Do you, is that what it's going, what's going to happen? Uh, actually, we, we are we are really working hard to reach uh, uh, common uh, to reach common grounds between all the the, the, the political groups that uh, that uh, that are on the table today. But unfortunately, every time we we reach an agreement with a group, there's a veto on, in another group. When we proposed the 128 um, districts, uh, there was a veto from Hezbollah and Amal. When we proposed the mixed law, there was a veto from uh, uh, from the PSP. When we every time we propose something, there is a veto coming from somewhere. And if things uh, go this way in in the coming two or three weeks, uh, and uh, we see that uh, we are going back again to the to the 1960 law. Uh, I believe that uh, I believe that we are going to to, to a deadlock. So everyone should do uh, should be positive and try to, to 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 do some concessions on on their views to reach an agreement. Mr. Schmeyer, but there there's already I I'm sorry there is already a deadlock. So this is my last question: Are you optimistic that there will be elections in 2013 and you will eventually reach an agreement? Actually, I cannot uh, I, I cannot uh, guarantee that uh, we will reach an agreement uh, in the coming months. All I can guarantee is that we will be very positive to get there, and we will do everything in our power to reach to reach a common ground with all the parties, uh, and especially uh, future movement and all our allies in March 14. We will do our best to reach an agreement with them. Uh, on, on this law. That's what I can guarantee. Otherwise, it's not in our hands alone. It's not us who decide how, how things are going to work out. Thank you very much, Mr. Jamal, for joining Thank us.